I've already shown you how to create a global hegemony in Crusader Kings 3, but world domination will only take you so far in life. If you want to get anywhere as a medieval leader, you'll need to make some serious motherfucking cash. So today, I'm going to show you how to make money in Crusader Kings 3. The first thing we need to do is choose a character to play as. I wanted to play as the Venetians because they were the OGs when it came to insane wealth, but apparently I'm not allowed to be a republic? As an American, this is triggering me. But I also know that Paradox will probably add it in in one of the hundreds of DLCs it's bound to release over the next 20 years. That's their strategy for making money, but today I'm going to try something a bit more ethical. Strip mining. There are seven provinces in Central Europe with extremely profitable mines. I'm going to set myself up as the lord of one of them, and then sit back and harvest natural resources in a sustainable and ethical way. So I'm going to play as Count Ekbert, mostly for the name, but also because he's so low on the vassal tree that no one will ever bother him. I mean, look at this guy. Who would ever have it out for anyone named Ekbert? And look, I also have a son named Ekbert. Ekbert Jr. It's just perfect. Right now, Count Ekbert is as rich in this game as I am in real life. So even though we're named Ekbert, we need to take over the mining province right next to us. So the first reason I chose Ekbert is that this mine is actually the richest mine in Europe. The person who owns this is a single woman living in the Middle Ages, so I don't think it'll be too difficult. We're gonna have our bishop fabricate a claim. Meanwhile, we have some other claims we can exercise. Now that I have control over the mines, we can finally start making a steady income. The problem is that Countess Hedwig over here is probably going to want her land back or whatever. And I'm not a coward! But I have a solution. If I can get something called a strong hook on her, she can't declare war on me for some reason. To do this, I'm going to have to try something a bit unorthodox. I'm going to fabricate a hook on Hedwig. I don't really know how good I'm going to be at this. Oh! And it's done. Well, apparently Eckbert has a knack for manufacturing hooks. He's a great hooker. I've made a bit of money from the mines. And all things considered, you think that should be enough to survive. But, uh... I have cancer, and treatment costs in medieval Europe are almost as high as modern America. On top of that, I need to leave enough so my wife and son will have enough without me. And on top of that, I need to make sure my son has enough money to take over the realm when I'm gone. Believe me, with a name like that, motherfucker's gonna need all the help he can get. Remember those hooks from earlier? Well, if you have a hook on someone, you can just get them to give you straight cash. I put together some really impressive deals, but this thing you've pulled off, it's amazing. I'm sure there's no way someone could abuse this system, but actually what we can do again is fabricate a hook. What does that mean exactly? Well, to break it down, essentially I run up to someone and say, I just made up a lie that you're a cannibal, you're in trouble now buddy, and then instead of saying something like, you have no proof, it's your word against mine, who's gonna believe you, how did you get in here, put that down, they say, oh no, please, I'll give you whatever you want, just don't spread lies about me. And that's when I take all the money. Now I know what you're thinking, this sounds like something that could get you in a lot of trouble, but that's the best part. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Well, I think you found a loophole. How fast you can make money is exactly as fast as you can make shit up about people. So because Eckbert has a knack for fabricating hooks, our liege, Herman, made me his spy master. So we've got a bit of land now, we've got a new job working for this psycho as a spy master, but somehow I feel empty working for some overboss who just wants to use me for my high quality hook manufacturing skills. The thing I want more than anything else in the world is the Duchy of Ostfallen. Why? So I can get out from under the duke here, who doesn't respect the fine craft of hook fabrication. Also, I think he might be planning to kill me. Why don't I kill him first? Using a hook I fabricated on the Pope, I get a claim on the duchy. With this, I can go to war and conquer it. Okay, things got out of hand during the war. A lot of people are dead now, and Herman is my prisoner. I could release him for a weak hook, but the Duke is wrathful, vengeful, and sadistic, so he's not exactly someone I'd want to leave on my enemies list. He has also sworn to kill my entire family, and Eckbert is kind of a wuss. The only safe option here is to torture and execute him. With this, I have been elevated to a vassal of the Emperor. That means I have a whole new peerage of lords to blackmail. I've also made a lot of cash from extortion. My wife really wants me to quit because she's scared for her family or something, but it's just so fun to cook up new and interesting lies about people. And I've blackmailed so well, the emperor himself has selected me as his spy master. I'm in the imperial court. Can't you see this is everything I've ever wanted? I'm an important figure. How could you ever ask me to quit? Now that I'm the head of the medieval equivalent of the FBI, I can fabricate hooks in a fraction of the time, but there's just one problem. I want more. This is why I wanted Ostfallen, because whoever holds it becomes an elector of the Holy Roman Empire. But more than that, I'm also the Emperor's cousin. In fact, if my mom was my dad, I'd be the Emperor right now. Not Mr. I disappear behind the shed with goats for an hour Frederick. But this also makes me extremely eligible. With this, and all the hooks I fabricated on the entire electorate, I can force my way into becoming the heir to the HRE. 
That means my son, Eckbert, will also be the heir to the HRE, ensuring my family's future. Say my name. Eckbert. You're goddamn right. But now I can finally put my final plan into action. I'm going to blackmail everyone into killing the Emperor, and no one can stop me because I have hooks on everyone in the entire realm. What's this? Apparently I'm being sued for slander by... everyone. That makes no sense. This is a text-based game, it should be libel. But the solution is obvious. Murder everyone. Because you can't sue someone if you're dead. But if life has taught me anything, it's that if you start picking off witnesses one by one, someone's gonna figure it out, and you're gonna have a bad time trying to take out the last five in the safe house in Boca Raton. You gotta take out the witnesses before the marshals figure out what you're doing. That means we have to have all these witnesses dead inside of two months. I know you're expecting this to go faster, but that's just how long it takes for news to travel in the Middle Ages. And the clock starts now. Cue the dramatic music. This would be so much more intense if you could actually see what was happening. And with that, I've assassinated my way through most of Western Europe. All of my enemies are dead. I've done it. And then he was killed. But of course I'm not going to say who or what killed him, because I use context clues to let you figure it out on your own. Hi, I'm YouTube content creator Big Beak Entertainment. We've had a lot of fun here tonight, but there's one problem faced by many Americans. I am of course talking about the real killer. Obesity. Maybe if Eckbert had been more interested in exercise and proper diet, and less interested in forming a global kleptocracy based on extortion, he would still be alive today. But how can I get a proper exercise and a lean diet, I hear you asking. Well, I'll tell ya. Down at Big Peak Entertainment's resort spa and mining labor camp. We will not only feed you nothing, but work you so hard you'll feel the pounds melting off you. Just like a precious metal that you will also be expected to melt down. So sign up today. It's only mandatory. Don't make Count Eckbert track you down and make up vicious lies about you.